Well, good morning, young adults. You know who this is. It's so glad to, I'm so glad to see you this morning. I have put together a special message just for you. This is not going out to the whole church. It's not going out to the world. It's going out primarily to the Jordan Temple young adults, ages 14 to 25. I hope you all can receive this message in Jesus' name. So in six minutes, I want to give you six scriptures to live by. Amen. Number one comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 9. Here's what it says. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. So our message to you today is that you are chosen by God for such a time as this. It talks about a chosen generation. You are the generation that's going to make a difference in this country. All you have to do, continue to get your education, be uh, strong and steadfast, persevere, use the brains that God has given you. You're going to make the changes in this world. Run for political office, get in church, preach the gospel. You're going to be the future leaders because we know what we instilled in you. The second scripture is Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse number 6. And that says, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid for the Lord your God. He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor will he forsake you. Oh, I love that scripture. So that's the one in Deuteronomy in the Old Testament. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of education. Don't be afraid of other cultures, of the nationalities. Don't be afraid of the challenges that are going to come your way. You are thoroughly equipped by God, amen, to do the supernatural. God will help you in every endeavor that you decide to pursue. So go out and win over the world and take control, take charge, accomplish everything that your heart desires. Number three, Philippians chapter four, verse number 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You may not feel qualified and you may feel weak at times. You may feel inadequate and maybe you're dealing with some uh, low self-esteem. But let me tell you something. God declares in his word, and Paul said it here, I can do all things through Christ or with Christ. You can do everything that you put your mind to if you use God as your partner. That's one of the things that the generations before you, we didn't do it until it was too late. Let God be the partner, the overseer of your life and in your business. Number four, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. To give you a future and a hope. You have a great future ahead of you. This is the plan of God. It's not something that your mother or father dreamed up. The Bible says that God has a plan for your future. Your responsibility is to operate within the will of God. Make sure your plan coincides with God's plan for your life. Amen. It's kind of hard to get away from this because you know what you're born to do. So God is saying in advance of your maturity, before you grow up, he already has a plan for your life. And let me tell you what one of that part of that plan is. It is a plan that will prosper you in everything that you're doing. Amen. Everything you set your eyes on, every place you put your foot on, you can claim it. That's the promise of God. He has a plan for your life and you shall prosper in it. Number five, Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 29, 30, and 31. Read this when you get an opportunity. It says, and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. Even the young people, the youth, shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. This is the scripture for you, it's for the young people. It says that even the youth shall faint and be weary. All that means is simply this. 
is that because of your youthfulness, there are some things that may work to your disadvantage. You don't have the knowledge, you don't have the experience, you don't have the lifespan of some of the older or the generations that came before you or older people. But you got God on your side. He says in the very first um, uh, verse number 29, the one that I read you, and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. Even the young people that may be young, young adults who may faint or have weaknesses. Because you're going to find out in life, we're not all strong as we pretend to be. Many of us have some faults, some frailties, but when God is with you, he says he will strengthen you in the areas that you're weak. And he says that he'll be with you if you're patiently waiting on him. That's what the scripture is implying. You have to be patient enough to wait for God to show up and work and operate in your life. And the last one is 1 John, not the gospel writer. This is not John in the New Testament, that next, you know, that first, uh, 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 second or third book. It is near the back of the book. 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. This is 1 John chapter 2, verses 14 and 16. Hear me good. Here's what it says. And so I say to your fathers who know the eternal God, and to the young men, I'm speaking to the, fa the fathers, then he says to the young men and women who are strong with God's word in your hearts and have won your struggle against Satan. Stop loving this evil world and all that it offers you. And when you love these things, you show that you do not really love God. For all these worldly things, these evil desires, the craze for sex, the ambition to buy everything that appeals to you, and the pride that comes from wealth and importance, these are not from God. So what God is saying, there are spiritual things and there are worldly things. He's saying, for I say to you and to the young men and the young women, be strong in heart towards God. Your battles have already been won. Satan's going to come against you, but you are already victorious. God has already made you victorious in your life. Keep the faith in God and know that God is on our side. God bless you. Be blessed.